There's a lot of pandemonium in Washington, D.C. these days, and we're not talking about all the hubbub around the government shutdown or chaos in the House of Representatives. Last week, D.C.'s National Zoo celebrated its three giant pandas with a week-long pandapalooza. Visitors turned out to see the black and white bears, despite poor weather brought on by tropical storm Ophelia. I took uh, time off work to come and see the pandas, yeah. Mei Shang, Tian Tian, and their cub, Xiao Qi Ji, will return to China in December. It's so sad that they are all going to be leaving at the same time, and the fact that the Chinese won't, aren't negotiating with us to replace them. Um, that politics has kind of complicated the whole process. <laughs> China has a long history of what's dubbed panda diplomacy. Pandas are only native to central China, but that nation has loaned many of the critters to other countries, usually following a trade deal. But recently, China has begun pulling its panda program from Western nations, as panda loan arrangements expire. Many see it as a reflection of political tensions between the communist country and the West. The Atlanta Zoo still has a few bears, but when that loan ends late next year, the only pandas left in the U.S. might be the stuffed kind. The black and white bears first came to America 51 years ago. First Lady Pat Nixon welcomed a pair of pandas in 1972, a gift from China in exchange for two oxen. Panda diplomacy is an example of soft power, which sounds like an oxymoron, or contradictory. When you think of the word power, it's most likely hard power, which is gained through force, a country flexing military might or economic influence, for instance, like Russia's invasion of Ukraine, or sanctions against foreign nations, like the US sanctions against Cuba during the Cold War. Soft power is more about persuasion and building a good reputation, a national brand, if you will. It uses things like pop culture, sports, the arts, or education to create an attractive reputation in order to build influence internationally. Creating a softer image of a country can alter perceptions about that nation. And sure, when you look at a panda, it's hard not to think, aw, how cute and cuddly. Beijing currently lends out 65 pandas to 19 countries. If you like that story, well, you should like and subscribe below. You know what? As a matter of fact, why don't you check out today's full show for free? Just go to worldwatch.news forward slash free video.